Welcome back to his workshop. I trust that you're experiencing the work of God in your life, which is a work of permanence as we surrender. You know, it's so easy to become cynical in this world in which we live and to develop a judgmental heart, to see what's wrong in other people's lives and forget that really we're just a work in progress. You see, Jesus made it clear in John 3, 17, he said that he didn't come into the world to judge the world or to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And it's so easy to develop an attitude where all we look for is the wrong in people's lives. You see, humility makes it possible for us to be in step with the Holy Spirit. A proud heart steps out of step with the Holy Spirit. Humility isn't groveling. Humility is simply just putting others and Jesus first. I trust that as you step into this next week of your life, that you would really say, Lord, help me to see the world through your eyes. Help me to see the needs of people and not just the things that are wrong. There are so many glaring things that are wrong in the world. But how does God look at us? God looks at us with compassion. Would you be in a place where you say, Lord, do work in my heart so that the compassion of God might flow through me to this world that needs it so much. Guys and ladies, I need a work of grace in my life daily. And as we surrender to him, it's good to know that he said, I haven't come to judge you, but I've come to love you. You see, when judgment enters, Jesus leaves. We've been called to follow him. He said, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. This week, would you choose to just say, Lord, help me to follow you so that others can walk in my step footsteps and find you. Jesus loves you. You're precious to him. Follow him with passion. <music>